Blessings, people of God. Glory to Jesus Christ. Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to my channel. I hope all is well with you in the Lord. Praise God. I hope that you all have had a fantastic weekend. Amen. So people of God, I will not be before you long today. I have some things that I got to do, but I just wanted to come on here and release this prophetic word into your spirit. I believe that this word is going to be very powerful to somebody that is watching today and also encouraging to your spirit. Hallelujah. But before I release the prophetic word today, people of God, you all know my stance. Don't come to me. Go to God. I am just the messenger. It is your responsibility to seek the Lord for yourself concerning any answers or questions that you may have about this prophetic word, okay? And also, we are encouraged to test the spirit. In 1 John chapter 4, test the spirit behind all prophetic messages that you're receiving from someone, amen? And the Bible also talks about how we should be studying, okay, to show ourselves approved. Why? Because when we study the word of God, we learn, we get knowledge, we get wisdom from it, right? The Lord heightens our discernment and we take those things and we use them to weigh what we hear from someone against the Holy Scriptures. So brothers and sisters, over the past, I'll say a few days, maybe 10 days, 14 days, the Lord has been leading me to different verses in the Bible to meditate on for my own personal well-being. But I also believe that the Lord allowed for me to read what I've read so far so that he could use what I've learned from the scriptures and relay this prophetic word to you. And I also believe that the purpose of me releasing this prophetic word on behalf of God today is to encourage you to know and believe that your promotion is coming despite how long you have been waiting. There are many of you that are still waiting for God to come through with your promotion or your breakthrough. And the Lord needs your attention now as you are watching and listening listening because God don't want you to miss it. God does not want you to give up right before you receive the promotion, right before you receive your breakthrough. Hallelujah. And brothers and sisters, if you remember, as the Lord said in last Monday's message, I believe it's titled, Your Mandate is Heavy, but Divine Helpers Are Coming. In that word, God was serious about releasing promotion to all of his sons and daughters that were officially released from up under his training. Remember, the Lord had recently released his children from boot camp. And during that time that you were in isolation, you were being shaped, you were being molded, you were on the potter's wheel, you were in a wilderness experience, you were in an isolated place, and it was for your good, your betterment, so that when you left the place, you would be in position to receive what the Lord had for you. People of God, the Lord wants to remind you that that time that you spent with God was not for nothing, okay? None of the time in your wilderness was in vain. The Bible says in Habakkuk, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it may tarry, listen people of God, though that thing that you're waiting on may tarry, the Bible says to wait for it because it will surely come and it will not not Terry. Praise God. What does that mean? It means that no matter what you see happening around you, no matter how big the giants look in your land, no matter how many plots that they try to use against you, no matter how many arrows that they try to throw and thwart your promotion, no matter how many times the enemy's arrows comes against your breakthrough, God is not indifferent to these things. But God says, listen, people of God, though it may tarry, it it will surely come, says the Spirit of the Lord. My God, hallelujah. People of God, the Bible says that there are times and seasons for everything under the sun. And as it relates to your most recent shift, your release from God's boot camp, the Lord is now allowing you to be promoted in areas of your life, listen to this, where you lacked. God is allowing for you to be promoted in your life where you fell short. God is allowing for you to receive breakthrough in those areas where you mismanaged, okay, where you made a mistake, where you missed it. 
And even in those areas, the Lord is saying that you have been attacked. God is allowing promotion and breakthrough to hit you in these very areas of your life. Why is that? Because these are the areas of your life that God personally trains you, that God stripped you, that God disciplined you in so that you would be in position, hallelujah, to receive your promotion and to be able to steward it well. People of God, you know, we hear the word promotion used often. Um, sometimes I believe loosely, you know, and so I took the liberty of just kind of looking that up in the Miriam Dick Dictionary. And in the Merriam Dictionary that I saw online, it says that promotion means the acceptance, furtherance of the acceptance and sale of merchandise through advertising publicly or discounting. And then another definition that I found online through the Merriam Dictionary, it said promotion means the act of being raised in position or rank. And so when I saw that second definition, that seemed to fall more into alignment with what the Lord is speaking to you today. But there is a problem. Problem, meaning that they do have some validity to them, but there is a deficiency in them as well. Somebody say, well, Shanika, what you talking about? Well, because what the Merriam Dictionary says is different than how God defines your promotion. God defines your promotion in that he is the one, listen, people of God, that promotes you. He is the one that advertises you or he is the one that publicizes you. A promotion that comes from the Lord is not rooted in man's ability to promote you. Why? Because God is God. God is Alpha. God is Omega. God is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And we see this in the book of Psalm. I believe it's chapter 118. Um, and I'm just paraphrasing the interpretation of what I read. It talks about how a man or a woman's efforts alone, okay, are not sufficient to promote anything. And anything that man puts his hand on is likely to be deficient. It's likely to fall apart at some point in time, right? Because we're human, okay? But when God promotes you, my God, my God, God's promotion is supernatural, meaning that it can only be by God's spirit, by God's hand, hallelujah, by God's command that you will be promoted people of God. And so if you have a second, come with me to your Bibles. Numbers chapter 23 verses 19 through 20. And the scripture says, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall not make it good? Behold, I have received commandments to bless, and he hath blessed, and I cannot reverse it. My God, this is what the Lord is saying. Listen carefully, people of God. To whom this word is for, God says that your promotion is unstoppable and your promotion will prevail. Listen, not one thing, not one person will be able to stop it, says the Spirit of the Lord. God says no one and nothing can perform the breakthrough and promotion that he has prepared for you in this hour of your life because he is the one that created it. He is the one that commanded it into existence for you, says the Lord. God says, for the Lord Almighty has purposed your promotion. Listen, people of God, and who can thwart him? His hand is stretched out and who can turn it back? Nobody, no one can deliver anything out of my hand when I act, says the spirit of the Lord. Who can reverse it, people of God? The Lord needs for you to saturate this truth into your spirit. Your promotion is coming. Your breakthrough is coming though it may tarry it shall surely come says the spirit of the lord god says you must believe it to receive it you must know that i am god you must recognize that i am the one that brought you out of the land of egypt and i am the one that released you from your wilderness made you ready and able to pursue and receive all that i listen people of god the lord your god will have for you in your life Life, says the spirit of the Lord. The Lord says your promotion will prevail. God says I will perform it. Believe in me that it will come, says God. Brothers and sisters, I pray 
that God will give you more revelation in your personal time with him concerning the promotion that he himself is sending into your life because of your most recent release from your isolated place with him and that God will give you clear instructions on how to move forward in your promoted place, that God will give you clear instructions on how to conduct yourself in your breakthrough in Jesus name. I pray that God will send you supernatural perseverance and faith to continue to believe that though your promotion has taken a little longer, though your breakthrough has taken a little longer than expected, that you will believe God's word when he says that your promotion is not a lie, that your breakthrough is not a lie. Though they may tarry, they shall surely come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the Lord will give you reassurance in knowing that your promotion is here and that you will be able to receive it in peace and without worry from the people around you that might get mad because God is taking you higher, because God is promoting you, because God is sending breakthrough in your life in this season in Jesus name. And brothers and sisters, I speak tremendous blessings over your life and I decree and declare that God will be with you for all the rest of your days in Jesus holy name. Remember, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus holy name. People of God, I love you. I absolutely love you. And I want you all to have a blessed, blessed day. Okay. Bye.